The military and emergency services have launched an unprecedented awareness campaign about post-traumatic stress disorder. A convoy of their vehicles will travel from Brisbane to Melbourne to shine a light on a condition that affects one million Australians. When terrible things like the Orlando shootings happen, they receive saturation coverage. But what happens to the survivors, police, paramedics and others? That night, everything changed. Depression, anger. Queensland's frontline protectors have banded together <laughs> to create the biggest post-traumatic stress disorder awareness campaign ever mounted. We got a big job for sure. A convoy hit the road today on its way to Melbourne via Sydney. You, you say PTSD to half the country and they'll, they'll wonder what you're talking about. Assistant Police Commissioner Brian Codd is brutally candid, says the culture must change. Too many officers too afraid to seek help. How many staff do you reckon you'd have out there who are suffering right now and haven't told anyone, haven't sought help? You know, the short answer to this one, Phil, is I don't know, and that's part of the problem. For something that's described as a sleeper issue in the community, the numbers are staggering. It's estimated that around one million Australians suffer from PTSD and that 10% of all Australians will suffer from this condition at some point in their lives. Senior Sergeant Darrell Green was shot in the face. This 3D video of the bullet's impact doesn't reveal the emotional scarring. Thoughts of suicide and an extremely long journey. A long road ahead, but help is on its way. Ain't nobody gonna steal this Phil Wilmington, 9 News.